Hi Chiku from Splice and Post and I'm here with another quick um, post production tip for um, all Avid editors. Um, I have this um, sequence here and right here in this segment I'm just going to play this quick segment for you guys to take a listen to. So. Now, the problem here is when they were filming this at a particular time, I don't know what happened, you know, it was just picking up a lot of ambience. I mean, you could hear the airplane flying by and just a whole bunch of craziness going on. Me as an editor, I just looked at this shot one time and like, I really love this. You know, I love the dynamics of the camera, how it moves. There is, I mean, it, it gives, it adds to the kind of tension for that, that goes with the scene. And I want to use that, all right? Only thing is that the audio is messed up. Okay, so I'll have to find a way to replace the audio and so that we could have, or at least we could hear what our characters are saying at this point in time. Okay, luckily for me, um, the reverse shot here, which is a close up, has clean audio. All right, so using a very powerful tool in Media Composer or Symphony uh, uh, in this case um, called Re Replace Edit, I'm going to get the clean audio and basically replace the. Um, the, the noisy audio so that I could just um, save the shot basically alright now the, um, the thing about it is that um, even though it's very hard for me to um, hear what he's saying at this point one thing that I do know is that when he makes this hand gesture alright at this point he says take a good look around you okay so that is that line of um, dialogue that is what he says okay so I need to go look for that line of dialogue in the close-up and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just scrub through I think it's right here. Okay, so play it. Take a good look around you. All right, so that's it. Okay, and if I want to get really technical, I could just say, okay, let me go to my, um, let me go into my um, on my timeline and just um, toggle source and record. Okay, I could just turn on my audio waveforms real quick, and I could just um, you know zoom back out here. Uh, zoom in a little more so I know exactly where we are. So somewhere around here. Right there. Okay. So step back out of here. Turn off my waveforms. I don't need them no more. Alright, the reason why I'm doing this is because for replace edit you don't need marks. Okay. Only thing that Avid needs to know is where the position indicator is. So you have to make sure that you are parked on the right frame um, on your uh on your source side and also on your record or your timeline and Avid is going to use a position indicator to just basically sync it up okay over here I could just go back a little more okay alright so I was right <laughs> so right here okay now um, replace edit cannot be found um, on on the interface so what you could do is you could go into your command palette and just remap it to any of the buttons here okay i'll use some um, control or command three to go into command palette and under edit replace edit i will drag it and just um, remap it here and close out of this okay and i'll come back to my timeline window and since i don't want to affect my video track i'll turn off my video track because i just need to um, change the audio okay and it's as simple as just clicking replace edit and Avid does the edit for you, okay, and everything is just sunk up, okay, so right at this point when the hand goes up, okay, we should be able to hear that line of dialogue of him saying, um, take a good look around you, okay, so I'll just go ahead and play through. And now he's just wasting our time. What's going with that? I want you to take a good look around. Okay, so that is, that is just that, all right, so this is a very quick way to use a replace edit um, tool in Media Composer.